We love you all. Thank you so much for Imagine Dragons. Peace and love. My name's Tim Cantor, and I've been an artist my whole life. We were familiar with Tim's uh, artwork before we approached him to do the collaboration and it was just clear we were all on the same, wave, same wavelength from the very beginning and you know to have someone like Tim's, an artist of his caliber on board just brought this project to, to life. They sent me two songs before I met with them. I said just listen to these songs. So then I met with the band, I showed them all my drawings of these weird ideas that were going into my head and they loved everything. We really loved where the music was at but then to get visuals to really complement that music is like just priceless. Like it really brought the album to life for us. It was just such a perfect fit. And uh, when we first actually got together with him in person, he laid out a bunch of different works that he'd been working on on the floor. And we all immediately gravitated towards one painting that ended up being uh, the cover. And it turned out that that was the only one of those paintings that he had actually created inspired by our music. For us, like what was exciting was collaborating not with another musician necessarily because there's already four of us and that's that's good enough but to collaborate with an actual artist that's something that really hasn't been done a lot so that was really exciting to us the first one was i bet my life um, and it was the other one was smoke and mirrors i bet my life was putting like a kind of a strange image in my head of a man with a hole in his chest and he had four arms and it's kind of how i my mind works i I hear something, I get a really strange image in my head, but it's all meaningful to me. Shots was another one I did for them. The vision I saw was a, a face, almost like in a portrait sense, but cut off at the eyes with all these birds flying free out of the mind. Some of the songs, they, they used some of my existing paintings because they connected with it. They said, this painting that you have, they were looking through my books, um, just connects with this song, it's perfect. Having Tim come into the studio and vibing out with him and having him kind of enter the world of Imagine Dragons definitely influenced me, um, I'm sure as well as the other guys. It's just, he's such a pure artist. Um, he's really gentle and soft-spoken, but he has a clear vision about things. He has a very distinct world that is Tim Cantor's world. It looks like nobody else's world but Tim. And um, it's really inspiring, you know. I could never have predicted that Imagine Dragons was gonna call, you know, and take me to this whole exciting new world that, that really doesn't exist in the fine art world. It's been a really, really pleasant because that's all they've done is say, here's the music, let the music inspire you and really just let me paint whatever their music put into my mind.